So a bit of a sad one today. So we are just about to head on up to Coy Water Barn um, down here in the southeast. A uh, very sad one. Uh, most of you would have heard by now, but sadly Keith Holmes, the general manager there, um, has been for many, 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 many years, um, sadly passed away. He was due to do the Easter um, auction. Um, obviously that's sadly not uh, possible now, but they've decided to carry on in his honour and um, Tony at Coy Water Barn, the owner, um, has decided that any funds raised at the auction today are going to be um, given to, to Keith's family. So a cracking event and we're looking forward to getting up there even though it is a very sad day. Um, I, was, I was only fortunate enough to meet Keith quite recent um, with the growing show and that but uh, yeah well boy what a guy. Um, very kind hearted and with crazy amounts of knowledge. Um, so yeah, very honoured to have met him, very sad that it was um, so late, it would have been nice to have met him many years ago, but uh, yeah, so enjoy the video, um, yeah, what more can I say, very very sad. He came on work experience, never left, and the rest is history. You all know Keith was more than my manager. He was my rock, the guy that kept me steady and sane through most of, uh, most of my life. He got me through many important times, the death of my father, the late John Pittam, the crazy years of going after our dream winning the All Japan Koi Show, and eventually winning the highest accolade in the Koi world. We survived through recessions. My family's moved to South Africa, achieved the required planning permission and the selling of Lily's farm, setting here up at Coolings and establishing our branch in Dubai. I thank you, Keithy. We found that balance of a perfect business relationship, me going to Japan to find amazing koi and Keith being on the ground and being excellent at running the day-to-day -day operations and being brilliant with our customers of over three decades. He was there from our original home at Lily's Farm, of which many of you are loyal customers, to being instrumental in making the move to Coolings possible. Keith never changed for anybody. Whoever he met or dealt with, you could be sure that he would be honest, friendly, caring, direct, well-mannered, respectful, and just real. A truly amazing man. Our customers knew that no matter how big or small the budget, or however basic the question, Keith would be that guy who would take the time to give you the most earnest and thoughtful answer and conversation. Most of all, he was a devoted husband, father, and then most recently a grandfather. I remember when Keith told me that Molly had had a baby. Once he got over the shock and met his granddaughter, that baby brought him so much happiness and joy. He loved sharing the pictures of her. He was also proud, so proud of Molly doing so well at university and graduating in the same year as giving birth to her daughter. He also loved showing the graphic design and videography work Amber was working on at college. Keith and I talked at least twice a day, more than I speak to anyone else, including my wife, and he was committed to help me set up a business that would carry on and be a legacy to the Koi world. He supported me in setting up our second branch in Dubai, and we were carrying on building the legacy he helped establish worldwide in Dubai and here in the UK. 
We thank again our loyal customers for their support in the past, today and in the future. In these hard times, your support has been very valued over the last 40 years and the next 40 years beyond. As you know, all sales from the auction today will be donated directly to Lisa and family, who will forever be a part of my family, the Koi Waterbarn family and the UK Koi community family. Thank you again for your overwhelming care, overwhelming care and support during this time. And let's toast to Keith to help raise some serious dosh. Thanks, guys. I'd just like to say uh, deeply sympathy, condolences to all Keith's uh, family, friends, anybody that know him. Uh, it's a really sad loss, um, and I think everybody that knew him will really miss him. Uh, and it's going to be many years, but I don't think Koi Water Bomb is going to be the same without him, to be fair. Um, and hopefully today goes really well in memory of Keith, and everybody remembers him. How they, how they knew him when they met him. Can I have any more? Come on, guys, this is all for Keith. What do we have there? 33. What's in there? Do I have 40 anywhere? Thank you, number 33. We've got 50 here. Bit of number 50. I'd like to give my condolence to Keith's family and his friends. Keith was a stand up guy. Let's get behind Keith and his family and Coy Water Barn. Because this was part of Keith's life. Really nice examples, really nice lot of goo on it. Um, you know, so this is a really, really close. Cool. Right, 350 going once, going twice, 350, 350, 370, we're at 370. Any advances on 370? Going once, going twice, sold, 370 to number 41. Lovely. 58, 59. Sixty, right? Sixty, hundred. Okay. Well. Yeah. So you're right, guys. So this is the Sunday um, after the auction. I've just gotten home after uh, you know a really successful event. There was a mega turnout, and you know lots of people coming to bid at the barn to come support Keith. And you know what's what's unfortunately you know happened. And um, yeah, no, it was a. Uh, a great celebration of you know Keith's life and um, yeah Dave's just asked me to do a little video if I've had any sort of funny memories or any memories of Keith and um, yeah he was um, he was great and to be honest I never really had that much funny memories of Keith it was more of um, I'd come in and make jokes and a uh, bit of banter and funniness <laughs> and uh, Keith would just get stressed to be honest <laughs> but it was um yeah it was you know the last six months has been an experience working with Keith and a pleasure and an honour to say the least and yeah to be honest this um I learned quite a few things from Keith and what I can say is you know I won't ever forget working with him and he was always a very fair and kind um, man and you know it was um, it was an honour to say the least so um, you know it will, it will not be forgotten and uh, it was a great day today and thank you everyone that came and supported the event and yeah hope to see you hope to see you about round of applause for me please And I'd like to thank you all for all your kind and generous bids. And I'd like to thank all the staff and friends of Keith and everyone for turning up today. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, guys. And, uh, yeah, great day. Uh, we'll be continuing, obviously. Uh, and, uh, yeah, please support us uh, going forward. And, uh, yeah, please respect the family and their wishes in going forward. So thank you very much, guys. Give yourself a big round of applause, please. Thank you very much. Thank you.